Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, let's make a traditional Puerto Rican budding my way. This recipe is so good and I'm so proud of it. I have no doubt in my mind that if you were to try it, you're gonna love it too. So this is a very popular Puerto Rican dessert that's usually reserved for the holiday time and for very good reason. It is very rich and very indulgent and most of all, delicious. So let's get into it. So for my recipe, before I make my budding, I'm gonna make an optional caramel. This is the same caramel that I make if I were gonna make a flan. Um, again, this is optional. I've seen recipes that call for a caramel and recipes that do not. Um, so what I like to do is I add one cup of sugar in a saucepan followed by one third of a cup of water. I stir that up really well and I have my heat set to medium high. I have an electric stove, so for me, that's number six. And then after that, I cover it with the lid and I let it cook for 20 minutes. If you are intimidated in making caramel, trust me, this is a very foolproof method. It does take a little longer, but you don't have to worry about your sugar crystallizing or burning. All right, so while I have my caramel going, I am going to get to the fun part, which is making my budding. So here I have one pound of soft French bread. Um, one pound is the equivalent of 16 ounces. You can also use like sliced brioche bread or sliced very thick hearty white bread. That'll work really well too. Of course, pan sobao, pan criollo, but I do not recommend like thin sandwich bread or Italian bread. So yeah, so I'm going to cut up my bread by hand in little bite-sized pieces. I'm trying to get it as small as possible. Um, doesn't have to be perfect or uniform, just as long as they are pretty small. So I'm just gonna rip that all up. All right, now that I have my bread loaf nice and ripped up, it's time for the fun part. And what I love about dessert recipes like this is that you can just throw everything in a bowl in no particular order, mix it up, and it comes out great. That's the best. So I'm gonna start by adding half a stick of melted cooled down butter. And it's very important that the butter is cool because when we add in our eggs, we don't want the eggs to get cooked. And then I'm gonna add one third of a cup of milk. One can of coconut milk. One can of evaporated milk. three eggs lightly beaten, two teaspoons of vanilla, and then here I have three quarters of a teaspoon of ground cloves and one and a half teaspoon of ground cinnamon. Then I'm gonna add one cup of white sugar. Followed by half a cup of packed light brown sugar. And then I'm gonna add a bit of salt. Here I'm adding about a teaspoon of salt. Okay, and then I'm gonna add half a cup of these dried mixed berries. So in traditional budding, um, they usually use raisins. I do not like cooked raisins. 
at all. <laughs> but I like to use these mixed dried berries because it has cranberries, dried cherries, dried blueberries, and they're so delicious. Like these I like, but again, you can use whatever you like. If you wanna use raisins, you can use raisins. If you wanna use golden raisins or dried apricots, that's a little more untraditional, but honestly, it's whatever you like. So after I add all of my ingredients, I'm gonna mix everything up with a wooden spoon that's um, uh, a little pointy at the tip and I'm just gonna crush everything up while I am mixing it so I already broke up my bread into very small pieces but with my spoon I'm gonna try to break it down just a little more so now that I prepared my booting mixture I'm letting it sit on the side for a couple of minutes so that I can fully absorb the liquid so after about 20 minutes my caramel was done and I know that it's done because it's a nice auburn color and all of the sugar crystals should have melted or they should be like 95 percent dissolved um it shouldn't smell burnt if it's too dark it most likely is burnt and you have to start all over but again my method is very foolproof and it should not burn and it should not crystallize either so Keep in mind that when working with caramel, you have to work very quickly because it hardens very fast. And I made the mistake of not working as quickly as I should have. So as you can see, uh, my caramel is struggling to spread out at the bottom of my cake mold. And this is a nine by 13 cake mold, by the way. You can use aluminum or glass. I've used both cake molds and it worked out just fine. But it does not necessarily matter too much that my caramel did not spread evenly on the bottom because I'm going to cook my boudin in a bain marie. And while it's cooking, the caramel at the bottom is going to spread nice and evenly at the bottom of the boudin. So yeah, just try to do your best to spread it out as much as you can, but don't worry too much about it. So now that my caramel has fully hardened, I'm just going to simply pour my boudin mixture into my pan. So I went ahead and I placed my cake pan on top of a large sheet pan and I'm going to create a bain marie by adding about three quarters of an inch worth of water and what the bain marie is going to do is going to create steam inside the oven and ensure even baking. Now I'm going to carefully place my building inside my oven and my oven is set to 375 degrees. I'm going to bake it for about an hour and 15 minutes or until an inserted knife comes out clean. So after about an hour and 15 minutes, my boudin is done. I did bake this uncovered, and as you can see, it's nice and golden brown. And when I inserted my knife, it came out mostly clean. You will have a couple of moist crumbs, that is fine, because a Puerto Rican boudin differs from a traditional bread pudding because it is very dense, it is very moist and chewy, and it's just so delicious. So, so yeah. So after about a couple of minutes of my boudin sitting at room temperature, I'm going to cover it tightly with some foil and place it in the fridge so that it can chill for at least four hours. All right, and this is the finished product. And as you can see, there is a big fat chunk that's cut out at the corner of this boudin because I was not patient enough to cut out the first piece with you guys. Instead, I cut out a nice big piece for my husband and me to try and it was delicious so if you've never had like a puerto rican bread pudding you may find it a little odd that we eat ours cold just as if you were to eat a flan you know we eat flan cold not warm but you can pop this in the microwave for a couple of seconds and top it with some ice cream that would be really good actually and the reason why i prefer to make the caramel at the bottom of the pan or to include the caramel at the bottom of the pan is because the bottom of the boudin just soaks up that syrup so beautifully and it makes it just extra moist and super delicious and that is all for today's video if you've enjoyed this recipe and you're going to try it out for the holidays 
let me know in the comments down below. Do not forget to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already, and hit that notification bell because a new video will be out every week. Until next time.